Uh, my name is Susan Lilly and I'm with WVU Extension Service in the Family Nutrition Program. Today I'd like to share a recipe with you. It's called Salad Surprise. And this sounds like a really good salad. It has everything in it that I really like. It calls for four cups of kale, romaine lettuce, spinach, and spring greens. Now if you don't have one of those on hand or um, the store was out like some ingredients I looked for they were out of you can use whichever ones you really like or what you have on hand okay so first thing you're going to want to do with that is you're going to want to make sure you wash those greens very well with uh, running water you're going to wash them off really really well uh, they can get a lot of dirt and stuff in them it's not clean even if it has been cleaned I still wash it again also so you're going to want to get your vegetables, and I have all of mine sorted out here in my colander where I have washed them. But I do have my collard greens here, and the way that I, uh, instead of cutting my collard greens or using the stem, an easy way to do it is you just strip it. That's a real easy way to do it. Just strip it down. And there I have my collard greens and my stems I don't want that are real tough just throw those away okay so we have our greens and I guess one of the surprises in the salad is there's several fruits you can pick from you could put a lot of them or you could pick out just a few whichever ones you like um, the recipe gives you the choices of mandarin oranges of strawberries of pineapple of blueberries of raspberries, um, peaches, chopped peaches, whatever floats your boat. You can use any of these fruits that you like or all of them. Today I chose to use mandarin oranges, uh, blueberries, and pineapple. My blueberries are fresh. My I use little pineapple tidbits that were canned in their own juice and I used mandarin oranges. Or if you have oranges on hand, you could segment oranges Cut the little um, orange part out or even if you have little fruit cup snacks around you could just uh, drain the juice off of these and just use one of these that's about a half a cup perfect anyways all right and you're gonna need about a fourth of a cup of onion which I have already pre chopped really I've diced it very small because this is going to be in our dressing for the salad now you could, I used yellow, sweet yellow onion. You could use red onion or whatever you have on hand. You're gonna need four tablespoons of oil and you are going to need uh, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and pepper for flavor. So again, I pre-washed all of my vegetables. They've been draining in my bowl when I use pour that water out they're still draining and I'm gonna I don't like great big bites in my salad so I'm gonna tear this up just a little bit more shred it down so it doesn't look like I'm got salad all over my face when I'm trying to eat it with my fork so I'm just gonna just shred it just like, especially the collard grains they're still pretty intact so I'm going to be tearing that up. So this is a really easy salad. While I'm doing that right quick, I forgot. With my salad dressing, I'm going to go ahead and pour all of my ingredients for that. The four tablespoons of oil, the two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and my um, diced up onion, a fourth of a cup of that. I'm just, you can put them in a jar. You could put them in a bowl to mix them up, but I, I've saved uh, dishes from restaurants. So what I did is I just put it in there. I'm going to shake it up really good. Get a little workout while you're doing it. Shake that dressing up real good, and I'm going to let it sit for, you want to let it sit for about 10 minutes to let those flavors really mingle in there. So while I'm shredding up some of my greens, that's what we can be doing is letting that sit. So those flavors mingle. Even your spinach, you know, they get still pretty big leaves. Just, plus, this is another way it's mixing all in there. 
My spring greens, though, they're pretty, and my romaine, I cut my romaine lettuce pretty, pretty small when I did it. Might have needed a bigger bowl. <laughs> a bigger bowl's already in use, though. See how the collard greens, big strips, I just want to get it down a little bit smaller. I'm getting my greens. There we go. Got all that in my bowl. And then I'm going to put it over there out of the way. And then I'm going to put in my fruit. And again, I just use blueberries and the pineapple and the mandarin oranges. It's going to be yummy. All right, so I have that all done in there. Piece of spinach trying to escape. I'm going to try to stir this up. Without losing all of it. Get it down in there a little bit. Let that fruit get mingled down in there. Even my romaine's still kind of big. Alright. I'm going to pour our salad dressing over this. Plus, if I don't want to deal with this container anymore, I can go ahead and toss it instead of having to wash it with all the oil. I'm going to put that in there. Oh, that yummy goodness. Oops. Okay. I'm probably going to pour this in a bigger bowl so I can get it stirred up a little bit better. Losing all my goodies. Alright. Oh, it smells very yummy. It's cider vinegar. Um, all right. So here we have our salad surprise. It's going to be pretty yummy with dinner tonight. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Thank you.